De aardwetenschappen en mijnbouwkunde hebben aan de TU Delft altijd een belangrijke plaats ingenomen. Building on that science, now we are addressing the modern challenges facing the society related to energy transition. And we are using the same apparatus that we had before, now for a different purpose. Onderzoek naar zoutkoepels kan een cruciale schakel vormen in het verduurzamen van de energieproductie. The salt caverns provide giant capacities for a storage of energy when it is in the form of gas. And hydrogen, which will be produced from electrolysis of uh, water, uh, they will be produced with wind and solar energy. And then you need giant space, a large capacity to store it. Imagine we are standing inside a salt cavern here. Uh, what you're gonna see is that the space around you is giant. The space can be as huge in terms of vertical dimension as an Eiffel Tower size. You're speaking about some hundred meters of length scale. Onder Europese wateren, zoals met name de Noordzee, kunnen grote hoeveelheden waterstof, gemaakt door windparken op zee, worden opgeslagen. There would be no just one cavern. You are going to have hundreds of them. You are going to have many of them. There are caverns already there for different purposes, for natural gas storage. So it's not a completely new topic, especially in Europe and in the Netherlands. We have a deposition of rock salt. We call them Zechstein salt rock depositions that can be utilized for storage of hydrogen. Toch liggen er nog belangrijke uitdagingen voor de wetenschap. There are two major challenges here, uh, scientific opportunities. One is to turn what we have today to hydrogen-based storage. Another is to develop new caverns, uh, speci you know, specialized for the usage of hydrogen storage. Vragen zoals hoe reageert het zoutgesteente als het onder hoge en wisselende druk komt te staan. How would the salt rock behave and not only the piece? but also the entire system, when other caverns are also being cycled. So in a system look, you want to optimize the entire cluster of them. We would like to see the inside part of this salt rock and see how it looks different after many, many cycles of, of loading. This picture actually shows a cyclic uh, usage of a salt cavern for storage of hydrogen, so increasing and decreasing the pressure as we produce and, and inject hydrogen. And then in here you see the deformation of the salt rock layer due to this pressurization. And that's the analytical and computational approach that we do in order to optimize the storage efficiency and also uh, maintain the safety. Een ander issue is het bewaken van de puurheid van het ondergronds opgeslagen waterstofgas. Er is potentieel dat je uh, moisture because of the brine that sits in, in, in the you know, bottom of the cavern. So the humidity of the hydrogen may be a little bit li you know, higher. Professor Hadi Hachibeki denkt dat TU Delft de komende jaren dé plek is voor kennisuitwisseling tussen wetenschap en praktijk op dit gebied. When we go to the operation, we like to collaborate with industrial partners and technology owners to see what challenges they face. And then we should have established a research center here so to address the questions when they arise. We need to start to pilot testing it, understand what happens and collectively work together to make it happen. <laughs>